This is a big thing, Soph. You need to go and try it before, before you get married. Because, like, you might end up falling in love with the most wonderful person in the world, and it'd be a girl. Sophie's mom reacts after she comes out as bi to her days before marrying Rob. And Miss Claire, per usual, tells her like it is. Yeah, but I know I want to marry a man. I know that. You just seem like, 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 no, I, I want, like, mm -hmm. a Seems like you don't really to, like, know anything right now. Stuff in the house, like, Dude, no, no, manly stuff. You're clearly confused Managed. with life. I'm not <laughs> Damn. This is 90 Day Replay Travel Size, where I pack in all you need to know while keeping it light. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Malicia. At the top of this week's episode of 90 Day Fiance, Sophie and Rob are still spending some time apart. After he stormed out on her and her mom, following their comments on his living situation and lack of a job. But as of right now, their wedding is still on, and Sophie and her mom are going wedding dress shopping. I do like it though. It is really beautiful. I feel like a lot of women dream about their wedding since they was like a little girl and like they know what they're gonna wear and how it's gonna be. Before I met Rob, I didn't ever want to be married. But it's like when I walk out with the dress on and I'm looking in the mirror and I just feel like I've never tried on anything that made me feel that nice and stuff. And like it kind of makes me excited, I guess, to marry Rob because it's like I would look so nice in the dress. Well, my girl, a day of looking nice in a dress is not worth years of misery. Also, she is giving Daenerys Targaryen here. Sophie tries on another dress and it looks nice, but this one is my favorite. That body is bodying. Yes, girl, it's sexy, elegant, and classic. Such a wonderful combination. Stop crying. I know, it's my, my baby like you're gonna go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that reaction from myself. I'm a princess. It's just been me and my Sophie, and last night at the hotel, I woke up and she was laying next to me, and I was like, it's never going to be like this again. Like, it makes me want to cry now, because, oof, sorry. I don't want her to go. I don't, I'm not ready. <laughs> that's the truth. Oh, that's all right, Claire. Sophie's mom has unexpectedly become one of the most lovable people this season. She's a 90 day MVP for sure. After they finished dress shopping, by the way, it wasn't clear on if she chose a dress or not. They return to the hotel and Sophie finds the courage to come out to her mom. I told Rob that I'm bisexual. Oh. Uh. Who cares? I don't get why you're not shocked. Sophie's mom does seem slightly unfazed by the big reveal, but the more she sits with it, the more concerns come to mind, including a big one that a lot of us have. Have you had a relationship with a girl? No, I would have told you that. Like if you would have told me this, I would have said, don't be getting married till you've been with a girl and know that what you really want. Don't just say that because you're looking for something to say about the marriage. No, really not, trust me. But this is a big thing, Soph. You need to go and try it before, before you get married. Because, like, you might end up falling in love with the most wonderful person in the world, and it'd be a girl. Yeah, but I know I want to marry a man. I know that. Initially, I was confused, because I didn't see the point in Sophie coming out as bi if she's okay with never experiencing being with a woman. But I had a friend bring to my attention that there are plenty of people who come out as queer and only have hetero experiences. Basically, they're aware of their sexuality, but they don't act on it. I'm curious to know what Sophie truly wants to come out of all of this. Maybe she's having doubts because this is an unexplored desire and she's looking for someone to validate it. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait in here from Sophie when it comes to that. Seems like you don't really to, like, know anything right now. Stuff in the house, like you, no, no, manly stuff. You're clearly confused managed. with life. I'm not confused. <laughs> so listen, marry Rob, that's the guy you love. Yes. If like when you meet a girl and you end up cheating on Rob and you get divorced, so no. be it. No. That's where my head went, so... I don't know what to think of the whole situation because her timing is absolutely, for want of another word, like, she's doing it now, when they're already arguing about all these different things, online cheating, the baby thing, the visa, where they're living, money. I think they're falling out of love right now. Rob comes to pick up Sophie, and in her own way, Miss Claire lets her baby girl know that she'll be by her side as she figures it all out. 
Oh, my little... Don't know who she is, girl. I do know. Are you sure? Yes. All right, love you, Bobs. Thanks for accepting me. You're okay, you're accepted. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye. Aw, so sweet. Side note, have y'all seen Sophie on TikTok recently? She has dark hair now, and it's giving post-relationship glow. I don't want to speak too soon, but by the look of some of her videos, I'm getting the gist that Rob might be a thing of the past. Time will tell. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.